Keith Dempsey on the left. Jack Shockey on the right at Yankee Stadium, July 21st, 1927. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Dempsey on the left, 32 years of age, weighing 194 and a half. Jack Shockey, 196. <laughs> Dempsey fighting out of the crouch, going for the stomach of Jack Shockey. Boring in. A rough, bruising battle here in this first round. A crowd of 72,283 on hand. The gross receipts, $1,083,530. The fourth million dollar gain in history. Jack O'Sullivan is the referee. Shockey was an early favorite at eight to five, but he closed as a six to five favorite. No title was at stake in this fight. Dempsey had lost the world's heavyweight title on September 23rd of 1926 to Gene Tunney. Shockey did not win the world heavyweight title until June 21st, 1932, when he won a 15-round decision from Max Schmilling. Dempsey boring in on Jack Shockey. Jack Shockey against the ropes, trying to hold off Jack Dempsey. And now Shockey fighting back. Left and right to the head. Jack Dempsey head down, boring in. And it's Shockey going underneath Jack Dempsey's right arm. Round one of a scheduled 10 rounder at Yankee Stadium in New York. A terrific left hook by Shockey, another left hook by Shockey. And a right cross by Shockey, Dempsey is in trouble. Shockey going after Jack Dempsey, belting him all over the ring. Dempsey's tough, he can take it, he has to here. Dempsey holding on now. Jack Shockey had him in trouble there in that first round. That's Jack Shockey in the corner to the right. Jack Dempsey to the left. In the second round, Jack Shockey had beaten Jack Dempsey to the punch time and again. Shockey is now leading on points. It's the third round of a scheduled 10-rounder. Dempsey continually boring in, bobbing and weaving. Jack Shockey trying to hold him off. Good left hand by Dempsey, staggered Shockey momentarily. Shockey has had a total of 33 professional bouts. He scored 10 KOs, winning 14 decisions, winning three on fouls. He lost four decisions. He was knocked out once. For this fight, Shockey, knowing that it was his big opportunity, the winner was to meet Gene Tunney for the World's Heavyweight Championship, was in the pink of condition, looking youthfully superior to Dempsey, and he displayed extreme confidence. And thus far, that confidence has proved correct. He's handling Jack Dempsey pretty well here in the third round, beating him to the punch. Shockey, one of the most colorful heavyweights in an era when there were men. Big, strong, rough heavyweights. Brash and self-confident, he regarded all opponents as his inferiors in fighting qualities and felt that he could whip any heavyweight in the world. And he's out to prove it here and now.
Sharkey looking for more boxing room, dancing away. But Dempsey continually bores in. It's a rough, bruising, grueling battle. Dempsey won the world's heavyweight crown on July 4th in 1919 at Toledo, Ohio, knocking out Jess Willard in three rounds. That's a slip, Jack Sharkey has slipped in his own corner and the bell has sounded ending the third round. Jack Sharkey, leading Jack Dempsey on points, going into round six. In the fourth and fifth rounds, Dempsey continually bored in, but Sharkey kept him off at long range fairly well and beat him to the punch time and again. But Dempsey is now beginning to wear down Jack Sharkey. They're fighting in Sharkey's corner. Dempsey has him pinned in there. Referee Jack O'Sullivan separates them. Dempsey continually boring in, looking to get in close. Hooking for the midsection with either hand. Sharkey trying to spin Jack Dempsey into the ropes. Dempsey won't be spun. Dempsey holding on, head down, and again they're separated by Jack O'Sullivan, the referee. A good right uppercut by Jack Sharkey, slow Dempsey. Another right uppercut by Sharkey, and a left hook. But Dempsey keeps coming forward all the time, head down, wailing away to the midsection. This is the sixth round of a scheduled 10 rounder at Yankee Stadium in July of 1927. Sharkey with that good straight left jab. Dempsey still comes in. Now we switch to slow motion to see some of that bruising infighting. Here in the closing moments of the sixth round. Right hand by Dempsey as the round ends. And Jack Sharkey taps him to the jaw as the round ends. Here we come out for the fateful round seven. Dempsey crouching, bobbing and weaving still. Going for the midsection all the time. Dempsey working away at the middle. Sharkey complains to the referee and down he goes with a left hook to the head. As he turned to complain to the referee, Jack Dempsey hit him with a left hook to the head and Sharkey is writhing on the canvas and he's being counted out. Struggling to get to his feet. 